Hello everyone. This video will step you through rehosting your factory door activation license from a computer back to the ROC automation licensing servers. It's assumed that the computer where the license currently resides is connected to the internet. Once back on the license server, the activation may then be transferred to a different computer. In order to rehost an activation, we need the following things to be in place. Access to the computer that is currently activated and from which you want to remove the activation. This computer must be connected to the internet. If not, then please refer to the tech note number 470025 for a different process for this situation. The Factory Talk Activation Manager software needs to be installed. This will be present if you have any Rock Automation software installed. Lastly, and most importantly, you will need the serial number and product key for the software whose license you wish to rehost. Ideally, you should locate the Factory Talk Activation certificate that came with the software. It would have been in a red envelope. To start the rehost process, open Factory Talk Activation Manager. As we said before, this will be installed on your computer if you have previously installed software from Rock Automation. Since you want to move an activation, we're going to assume that this is indeed the case. From the Windows Start menu, type Factory Talk Activation into the Search, Programs and Files field. You'll see Factory Talk Activation Manager listed under Programs. Click on the program to open. Regardless of which version of the Activation Manager, you will see similar options. You will need to select Manage Activations and then Rehost Activations. You will be presented with a list of activation licenses that are currently hosted on this PC. Select license that you want to rehost, paying attention to the product if you have multiple products installed. To begin the rehosting process, click on the Continue Rehosting button. A confirmation dialog will pop up. Take a moment to read the warning, as proceeding from here will return the license to the licensing server. If you're happy to continue, hit the Continue button. Note that in older versions of the Activation Manager, the button to proceed is labeled Remove Activations. You have now successfully rehosted your license. It is now back on Rock Automation Licensing Server. It can now be applied to a different PC. Please remember that there, there's a per license limit of five rehosts every year. You will need to contact Rock Automation Technical Support if you need to rehost more than this. If you intend to move a license more frequently, then we would re recommend using an activation dongle. Hello everyone. In order to activate any Rock Automation software, we need the following things to be in place access to the computer that is going to run the software that you want to activate. This computer must be connected to the internet. If not, then please refer to the tech note number 587245 for a different process for this situation. The Factory Talk Activation Manager software needs to be installed. This will be present if you have any Rock Automation software installed. If you have yet to install the software that you want to activate, then please do that first before continuing. Lastly, and most importantly, you will need the serial number and product key for the software, which you wish to activate. Ideally, you should locate the Factory Talk Activation Certificate that came with the software. It would have been in a red envelope and should look like this. To start the activation process, open Factory Talk Activation Manager. As we said before, this will be installed on your computer if you have previously installed software from Rock Automation. From the Windows Start menu, type Factory Talk Activation into the Search Programs and Files field you will see Factory Talk Activation Manager listed under Programs. Click on the program to open. Once Factory Talk Activation Manager opens, you will see the Get New Activations button on the Home tab. Click that button. You will be taken to Get New Activation view, where you will need to enter the serial number and product key that you would have found on your activation certificate. Once entered, click on the Validate Activation link. The details will now be validated with the Rock Automation Licensing Server. The next display will show the details and availability of the licenses currently residing on the licensing server. Working left to right, we will first see the number of activations to download. By default, it's one. For this example, we'll leave it at that. The next column shows the number of activations that are available and will depend on what you purchased. The product that you purchased is shown in the next column along with the earliest version that you can activate. As you can see, 
this field has a drop down and it is important to select the version that you wish to activate. We'd recommend selecting the highest version of the software you're going to use. Scrolling to the right, you can see the binding and destination columns. Destination is always this computer and cannot be changed. The binding is the identifying feature that the activation will be tied or bound to. Typically, this will be your hard drive serial number, but could also be an activation dongle. Once you're happy with the settings, go ahead and click the Download Activation button. That's it. The activation has now been downloaded. We can double check by refreshing the server to see the new activation. To do this, click on the Advanced tab and click on the Refresh Server button. Next, select the Manage Activations tab and on the left hand side, the Find Available Activations option. Click it and then the Refresh Activations button. If all's gone well, you will now see your activation in the Available Activations section. You can now run your software. Thank you very much for choosing Rock Automation.